Hello everyone, welcome back to Coach Craig Sports. Today's Wednesday, we're going to be doing the Thursday night football preview, some starts and sits for this matchup. This week it's going to be the Green Bay Packers and the San Francisco 49ers. They're obviously playing in San Francisco this week. The news this morning that we do need to keep an eye out on is that wide receiver for the 49ers, Kendrick Bourne, did test positive for COVID. They did shut down the facility today. At this point in time, they are not expected to move the game at all. So it looks like it's still going to be happening tomorrow night. Both teams have quite a bit of injuries, a little bit of COVID issues as well. So we'll go over some of that. We'll talk about starts and sits. Uh, not too many fantasy relevant players, honestly, in this game. Just kind of depends on your team, your league, and your outlook. So the Packers are five and a half point favorites in this game. It doesn't say on ESPN here. Uh, I had to look it up in a separate tab. But I think that's pretty fair. I think they'll cover that pretty easily. The over-under for this game is 50 points. I think it's going to hit the under on this one. I don't expect a lot of scoring with some of these backups in the game. And on the Packers side, we got Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers is going to start in this one. He's been good all year. Uh, 49ers defense, they are banged up, but they've been playing uh, better lately. We'll have to see if they can contain Devontae Adams. If they can do that, they might have a chance in this game. Otherwise, I think the Packers take it pretty easily, though. Uh, but Aaron Rodgers is definitely a start. Aaron Jones is a start if he plays. Sounds like he's going to be a game-time decision. If he doesn't play, this is very, very interesting. A.J. Dillon, running back, he's actually the third running back for the Packers. He tested positive for COVID. Uh, Jamal Williams, the backup running back, was in close contact with him, and they're both going to be out for this game. So if Aaron Jones does not play, it will come down to Tyler Irvin, the pass-catching running back, and Dexter Williams, a practice squad running back, a second-year player out of Notre Dame. If that's the case, you could probably play each of those two guys as a flex player. Not sure which one would be best in this matchup, but don't go crazy. Don't go out there and grab them and start them over somebody that's clearly better than them. Um, then we got Devontae Adams, and he's obviously a must-start. He's one of the best wide receivers in the league and best wide receivers for fantasy this season. Not too much to say there. We'll have to see if they cover him with Jason Verrett in this game. If they do and they're able to do it successfully, it might not be Adams' best game of the year. Then we have MVS. I don't I don't want to play MVS, honestly. You just want to sit him. You should have better options available to you on your team. I know a lot of people have been talking about Alan Lazard coming back this week, but I don't think it's gonna be coming I don't think he'll come back on the short week. I think it'll be next week in week ten. Uh, Robert Tanyan. If you really need a tight end to play and you don't have any other better options, you can play to Robert Tanyan. There should be a lot better options out there. San Francisco's pretty decent against the tight end. Packers defense could be a little bit of a sneaky play in here. 49ers offense is pretty much all banged up besides Brandon Ayuk. You got a backup quarterback, Nick Mullins, in. You're down to Jarek McKinnon and Jamichael Hasty at running back. You got George Kittle hurt at tight end. Debo Samuel's out. We could have uh, Jordan Reed could come back in this game, but I don't expect it. So it could be a decent matchup for the Packers defense. They could have come out and play pretty hard, you know, after they got their butt kicked by the Vikings. So it could be a decent matchup for them. De definitely a streamable defense, but not somebody you want to pick up and play over a more guaranteed defense. Mason Crosby, the kicker, you don't want to play in this one. He's had that calf injury, so he's just a little bit uh, risky if you were going to play him. Then on the 49ers side, we got Nick Mullins. Nick Mullins is a sit for me. He has not looked good when he's played this year, besides last week, essentially. But he makes a lot of questionable throws, and he's definitely not somebody you can trust in fantasy unless you're in like a two-quarterback or a super flex league. Then the, we have the two running backs to Michael Hasty, and Jerick McKinnon. It's a good matchup because the Packers aren't good against the run. That doesn't mean these guys are smash plays, though. And what I mean by that is both these guys are pretty much flex-worthy players. I think McKinnon will get a lot more work in the passing game. Uh, I think they're going to be behind in this game, so that may favor him. To Michael Hasty would get more of the first and second down work, but he's not anything special. I see everybody going out and picking him up. People are spending way too much fab on this guy because he's not good. Just because it's a good matchup doesn't mean he's going to put 20 points up. Like last week he had 10 points. He would have literally had nothing if he didn't have that touchdown. Then at wide receiver, it's pretty much da just down to Brandon Ayuk. After Kendrick Bourne's out, he's probably the only guy you could start in fantasy. I'm kind of hesitant on him this week, too. Probably have Jair Alexander on him, so it's not the best matchup in the world. You could try to play him based on volume, but they'll probably try to spread the ball around a little bit more. Nick Mullins does like to throw to the tight end, which leads us into our next position. So we got Ross Dwelly and Jordan Reed. If Jordan Reed plays, you can play him. 
If he doesn't play, Ross Dwelly is a streamable tight end this week. So if you don't have any better options out there, you can play him. Packers aren't great against the tight end overall. I know the numbers look better than they really are, but they haven't been good against the position, but they really haven't played anybody that has had a good tight end. And then the 49ers defense, you don't want to play them against the Packers. Packers offense is pretty explosive. Not too much else to say there. And then Robbie Gold, the kicker, you could probably play him in this matchup unless you have a clear better option. But overall, I think, like I said, I think Packers are going to win this game pretty easily. Uh, it should be an interesting game just seeing what happens with all the COVID issues, with all the injury issues, seeing if that affects one team more than the other and if it changes the outcome of this game at all. But that's all I got for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoy this Thursday night football game tomorrow. Hopefully these starts and sits were useful for you. If you have any thoughts on this game, please let me know down in the comments. If you need to reach out to me for any reason at all, please do so, whether it's down in the comments at CoachCraigSports at gmail.com, whether the Coach Craig Sports Facebook page, or on Twitter at Coach Craig Sport. If you guys liked and enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. It helps build the community that we're trying to build here at Coach Craig Sports. And if you're a new or current subscriber who is yet to do so, also hit that notification bell. It'll let you know every time I post up a video. Like I've been saying, post up about five videos a week, Monday through Friday. And then if you guys haven't checked out my articles already, I write for the Podcastic Network. Link is in the description below. My best friend and I recently started a podcast. It's called the Two Point Podcast. That's in the description below as well. We'll be talking some previews going into this week. Uh, we'll be talking about tomorrow night's game. And then we'll be talking about the other games this week. And from more like a fan perspective, what our thoughts on the games, things we're looking for, more than a fantasy sp perspective. Um, but with that being said, that's all we got for today's video. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed, and have a great rest of your day.